Hey couples, today we're going to talk a little bit about your time and how you budget your time. Tracy, most couples, most families, if anything, they look at their money budget, their finance budget, but not so much a time budget. Yeah, and I think if you think about it for a second, if you do a budget for your money, I, I don't know about other people, but we've been shocked over the years of how much money we've spent maybe on eating out that you know, as you're doing it, it doesn't seem like that much, but when you start really tracking your money, you realize, oh my goodness, this is far above and beyond what we thought or what we would say we would wanna spend on any one category. And so that's why today we're gonna to talk about creating a time budget for your family so that you can see if your values line up with how you're spending your time day in and day out. And so maybe grab a piece of paper as a family and write down some of these categories, categories like God and work and family time and individual time, sports and activities, entertainment, sleep, and be really honest with yourselves and see which categories take up the majority of your time. Yeah, I think this is something for families. I know this is how I felt when we were kind of in the in the throes of active parenting. I hear this from parents all of the time where they just say, where does the time go? You know, I would love to sit down and have prayer time or devotional or to do a conversation um, from the Pursue God Kids Library with my kids. We just don't have time. We don't even have time to sit down and have dinner together. And I think the point of this time budget is to kind of track where does your time go? What are you valuing most? Because it's what you're giving the most time to. And does that reflect the values that you have as a family? And I think for a lot of parents, they're gonna say, you know what? Kind of like money. I never realized how much time we spent on entertainment, let's say, where we're just sitting down and watching a movie or going to the movies together, but we're really not spending any time talking about God or spending time as a family. Yeah, take a look at this passage from Joshua 24. This is where Joshua, the leader of Israel, is talking to grandparents and parents and children about this kind of thing as they're entering into the promised land. He said, so fear the Lord and serve him wholeheartedly. Put away forever the idols your ancestors worshiped. Serve the Lord alone. But if you refuse to serve the Lord, then choose today whom you will serve. Would you prefer the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates? Or will it be the gods of the Amorites in whose land you now live? And I love what he says at the end there. But as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. It's so insightful to me to see that this is really an age old problem. Way back when the Israelites are coming into the promised land, they're still talking about what are their priorities gonna be. And they'd seen some awesome miracles that God had done in their life. And they still were elevating idols and things of less importance above God. And so Joshua, even at the beginning of the book had said, listen, when you're walking along the road, when you're going to bed, hang on the doorpost of your home, this idea of, meditating on God's word and wanting to be obedient to him and to his way. And how here we are in 2021, still facing the same challenges as a family. What are our priorities? Where does God fall in line? Do we talk about him? Do we give him time and space? Or are we elevating these other things of less importance and getting caught up in those things and then communicating to our kids well, our values really are more about sports or entertainment than they are about pursuing God. So take a minute as a couple, as a family, and answer this question. What do you value as a family? And does your time budget actually line up with those values?